Hello, I'm Stefan Yuzu, your pricing power coach. Today we're talking about a pricing model innovation canvas, and we're going to look at more in detail of what the canvas is all about. Whether you're framing a, a digital technology, looking at IoT, predictive maintenance, or working on innovation, or a startup, or a new product you want to launch, you have to ask yourself, how do I price that stuff? And what goes in the pricing decisions that you know helps me make the right decisions in the end? So the pricing model canvas helps you look at this by looking at the forces of pricing and then going into a series of framing decisions that will help you make better decisions. So let's look at the questions that you may ask yourself in details. Each of the C's has a series of questions. On the customer side, what are the customer segments? What are your customer pains and gains? How are customers expressing value? What kind of vocabulary do they use? What drivers impact the customer PL and how do customers compare value and price? How do they exchange that in their, in their mind? On the cost side, obviously you're going to look at the cost drivers, what are your top-down targets that you have from top management, what is the break-even points that you, uh, you know, that you are considering, how do costs evolve during the scaling you know, of the commercial launch, after the commercial launch, what is your customer price sensitivity, which is essential. On the competition side, you know, obviously you want to study your competitors very, uh, very uh, thoroughly. Which competitors occupy the mind of the customers? And NDCA you know, stands for what are the next best competitive alternatives? What are your true differentiators and the wild differentiators that you have for your offer? And what are the marketing and technical switching costs? And at the end, you also need to understand the pricing levels of your competitors. How do they structure pricing? Do they offer discount? Do they go net price? Do they have rebates? So all that stuff fits into the competition uh, block of the model. And finally, the last C is change. And for that, you're going to look at who is going to manage pricing once you launch your innovation, your startup, or your digital offer. How are you going to train your salespeople? Do we have the mindset to be able to sell something different? How much training are you going to have to do? Are you ready for commercial scaling? So all these questions are important for marketers, innovators, and digital leaders to look at. And at the end of the day, we're framing you know, your offer by providing the answers to pricing and value management. So on the pricing model side, do I do a, an ownership or a consumption model? Do I use a blend of subscription usage and outcome-based pricing? Do I mix all of this and create a hybrid model? On the price decision side, do I go price list or net price? What's my discount structure? Do I do a la carte pricing for some of the options and features of my digital offer or my product, my new product or services? What kind of testing do I do before I launch and after I launch? A-B testing, pricing research, price elasticity research. And then obviously you want to look at the summary of customer validation of all your testing work. On the profit formula, what is my EBIT estimate projections? How does my EBIT change whether I do a recurring business model or I do a, a ownership model? And then looking at profit projection, but also cash flow implication, because moving to more recurring businesses or usage-based pricing is going to impact your cash flow. At the end though, it's all about scaling and executing the launch of your startup, your innovation, or your digital offer. We're gonna look at commercial scaling, managing contracts, and using the templates for your contracts with the right pricing mechanisms, and having a great communication campaign for your value and pricing components. So all these things, yes, they're robust, but lots of questions that marketers and innovators are gonna ask themselves, lots of outcome and decisions to be made in the framing process. Find out more on stefaniozu.com. Thank you.